Hello, St. Luke, it's me, Pastor Matt Stannis, and I want to take a moment with you to look back so that together we can look forward to what God is planning for us. These past two years have been quite an unexpected time for the world and a time of transition for St. Luke as we navigated Pastor Sue Erickson's medical leave and retirement while simultaneously adapting to the global COVID-19 pandemic. These significant circumstances continue to have an impact on our life together, but they are no longer the disruptions that they once were. God continues to be at work among us as we live into the next chapter of the St. Luke story. As I pray, think, work, and dream about where God is leading us together, I want to remind all of us where God has already led us. So here's a quick recap. I vividly remember the Congregation Council setting aside the bulk of a summer weekend for a retreat. We prayed together, worshiped together, and diligently looked at our shared mission to know, love, and serve Christ. God was at work that weekend as the Council charted a plan that continues to transform St. Luke. The Council identified three things that define who we are and what we hope to be together as St. Luke. Supporting everyone's faith journey, building relationships with God and others, and meeting the challenges of today's world. Out of that spirit-led retreat, St. Luke dared to launch a capital campaign with the goal of eliminating our mortgage in order to direct our full energy and resources toward living into those three strategic directions. And you responded with faithful generosity. When the campaign launched, our mortgage was $900,000. Three years later, we are on track to eliminate that debt. In addition to how this has changed our monthly expenses, I'm excited at what is possible if above and beyond generosity enables even more impact in the years ahead because of this successful campaign. At the beginning of the campaign, Council invited us to imagine a world without a mortgage. Week after week, the windows in the Narthex lobby were the gathering place for your hopes and dreams for supporting everyone's faith journey, building relationships with God and others, and meeting the challenges of today's world. Do you remember all the sticky notes on the windows? Do you remember all the hopes, dreams, and ideas they contained? Do you remember what you wrote down? I promise you this. I remember all of those hopes and dreams. Council remembers all of those hopes and dreams. The council began wonderfully faithful work even as the windows filled up. Another weekend was set aside for a time of retreat, prayer, and visioning. Every single idea was reviewed. Themes were discovered and priorities were determined. A plan was coming to the surface. The council and the pastors were excited for what was about to happen. And then something else happened. My phone rang the next Monday morning and I learned that Pastor Sue had a stroke. That same night, we filled the sanctuary to pray. And in the days that followed, her health and safety were our top priority. We came together to ensure that the ministry of St. Luke would not only continue, but would continue to thrive, especially as we prepared for Christmas. Pastor Sue's recovery was progressing well, although slower than she hoped for. And as winter ended, we planned for her return, and I made plans for a sabbatical that was postponed in order to write a grant proposal that was successfully awarded. Again, the council and the pastors were excited for what was about to happen. And then again, something else happened. The coronavirus reached pandemic status, and it seemed like our whole world shut down on a Wednesday afternoon. A few days later, Sunday morning worship still happened, broadcast from my phone attached to a squeaky tripod in the sanctuary. St. Luke never missed a single Sunday. We came together and learned how to worship together remotely. I count it as one of our proudest recent accomplishments. We had no idea that we would be apart for such a long time. But think about all the ways God was with us and gave us all that we needed in order to stay faithful to our mission, even as we moved from crisis response to discovering entirely new ways to be St. Luke together. I am so very thankful for all the ways you have stayed faithful to supporting everyone's faith journey, building relationships with God and others, and meeting the challenges of today's world. In June of 2020, Pastor Sue had a second stroke and the recovery would be slower, especially for her speech. 
Pastor Carl Kruger joined us as pastor in residence that September, and we continued to do ministry together in a world that looked very different than it did just six months earlier. The pandemic lingered into 2021 and redefined every nearly, nearly every aspect of our lives. Pastor Sue's leave also continued into 2021. She still had hopes of returning in some capacity, which was universally a welcome outlook for all of St. Luke. Even while worship services, Bible studies, prayer, classes, and meetings happened mostly in the realm of our video screens and phones, you continued to participate and support the mission of St. Luke. And counsel continued to rise to every occasion. Counsel also returned to those sticky notes to make sure we did not lose sight of our hopes and dreams. You know, one of the ideas that was on those sticky notes was to expand our services to include live streaming. I'd say we accomplished that. That also reminded us how important each of those ideas are that you shared on those notes. It's amazing what God can do when we follow God's Holy Spirit. So this past June, we joyfully returned to in-person worship services and seeing each other face mask to face mask, even as we continued to reach people who were not able to enter the sanctuary. And it ushered in an appreciation for worship like no time before. We are God's gathered people for this moment in history. In July, Pastor Sue shared her decision to retire. And even though it's not what we wanted for her, we celebrated the 15 years she served as our lead pastor and all that God has done. As we approached pastoral transition, council sought direction from our bishop and the Southeastern Pennsylvania Synod to chart a course that meets the expectations of the larger church, which seeks to accompany St. Luke at this unique moment as we continue to live into our mission and into the priorities that we have given so much time, energy, and generosity toward. Council asked for more hopes and dreams, and more sticky notes were hung in the Narthex lobby, this time on a red door, reminding us the church history is still being written. Council and the worship team now have every one of those hopes and ideas. They will not be ignored or forgotten. Council also recommended that I be nominated to serve as the next lead pastor of St. Luke, and they invited your ideas and questions and input through forums and direct contact with council members. I'm truly humbled by and grateful for all of the encouragement and support that I have received from so many St. Luke members. I have prayed a lot and hope that after reviewing your feedback, council will formally present me as a candidate and that you will vote to call me as your lead pastor. I have loved being your pastor for the past 10 years, but it is during the past two years that I have felt that love grow and multiply. During this time that included challenges we never expected, I have grown in my understanding of what it means to be your pastor. I've grown in my ability to be your pastor, and I have grown in how much I love being your pastor. I remain excited by what God is up to and what we're capable of when we follow God's Holy Spirit. You are an amazing church, St. Luke. You deserve a big thank you for all that you have given to me and to each other over the past two years. I hope as you have looked back with me that my gratitude is clear. Thank you, St. Luke. I appreciate every single one of you. And as you look to the possibility of calling me to be your next lead pastor, you also deserve to know what I hope for and what I see as possible. I hope I've already given you a good idea as I've looked back, but next week, I'm going to share another message like this and look forward. The next chapter of the St. Luke story holds so much potential. Pastor Sue's ministry has ensured that. Council's faithful leadership continues to ensure that. Most of all, your participation is what will make it happen. Please take time this week to pray with me as you think about all that God has, is doing to bring us to this moment. Pray that God will reveal your part to you as we strive together to support everyone's faith journey, build relationships with God and others, and meet the challenges of today's world. Keeping those priorities at the center of our prayers will guide us further into our mission to know, love, and serve Christ. Thank you for listening, St. Luke. Please share this message so that nobody is missed, and I'll be back next week with part two. Peace be with you, St. Luke.